And so yeah, uh, to finish up on that thought though, you still want the host to have a massive advantage. You still want to favor the host to win. Like you should favor the host to win. That's that's the whole point of invading. It's supposed to be something challenging for the invader, and it's supposed to be a an enemy or an opponent for the uh, for the host, not something that's insurmountable. And so you still need to favor the host to win, but there are other ways to do that. And one of which, and that's the one that's proven to work the, the most, is by giving the other team more players. So we know that's already a thing, you know, co-op invasions are in. So that's one way of balancing things out. The Blue Covenant, or Blue Sentinel Covenant, was also a good one. Um, I suggested something a little work, uh, something that could work differently with the seed. Uh, I think like um, with the Seed of the Giant, I think they could uh, kind of modify this a little bit uh, to work in favor of the host a bit more than it is in Dark Souls 3. Like in Dark Souls 3, you get three seeds. The seed lasts, what, like a minute and then it's over or 30 seconds. And then once it's over, it's over. Uh, what, I'm, what I think would be best is instead of that, you have a, a seed that's like, it stays in, in the inventory. It's not a consumable. But then, uh, what happens is that your seed, uh, your seed only lasts a certain amount of time over level. Let's kill him. The seed only lasts a certain amount of time. So, like, say, 45 seconds, and then it has a cooldown. So, like, what it, what this would do is it would prevent the invader from hiding in the world and be annoying to the poor lone host. Well, on the other hand, um, nice range, fucking shit player. That guy heals in duels too. But he's a scrub. Look at that dumb range. Alright, let's go uh, that right away on these scrubs. Wow, nice unlock there. I'm gonna have to finish this dot after this. I thought he would finish that guy off. Oh, we got two overleveled idiots here. Here we go. Let's give my teammate a bit of time and space. Finish that guy off. I would fucking walk on to this fucking guy. Good shit there, Satsuna. Well played, dude. 35. Like back in the day, like prisoners, Cha like prisoners chain got a buff in in uh, some of the From Software's patch, and before that, it was not meta. No one used it. Meta was still 125. So, no, I disagree there. Would not necessarily be the meta. Would not necessarily be um, 
what, uh, higher. Oh, he was up top. You go figure. Okay, um... We go here. Alright, let's take a gamble. Okay, there it is. There is one, two people. Two great swords. Go up. It's always better to fight up here. Because there is an escape route at the very least. This guy's a uh, shit net. One of them is Skippy. Has shit net. Yeah, this guy has horrible net. You can't see it right here. Oh my god, this net is garbage. Ah, annoying. It would clip that. Some shit players with shit net, what's new here? That's definitely the first thing I would fucking fix. Give us a fucking ping filter so I don't have to deal with bad players that survive on shit net. I'd love that. That would be the thing I would love the most. Like here, like the only reason why we we have to like be careful is because one of them has garbage net. So we don't know like like what kind of range he has exactly. Good plunge, my teammate. the second good one. Look at that, like this is what I'm talking about. Oh man. To roll from no matter what the range is against someone like that. Bad call to go for a gun deer right there. Nice swap.
Wow, we, we actually had another teammate somewhere hiding in the world. That is lame. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? We had another teammate that was hiding. 